Functions are often used to perform a task based on certain parameters and then return a value. What if instead of displaying the sum, we would like to return the sum? Since we want our function to return a value, we need the appropriate function return type. Let's say that we want our return value to be an integer. Therefore, void will be replaced with int. The return type needs a corresponding return value. Since we want to return the sum, our return value would be the variable sum, which also must have an integer data type. Now, let's add parameters to our function. We still want to add the sum of two values together. So instead of defining two integer variables inside the function, let's use a and b as arguments in our parameter. Arguments in a parameter list must contain a data type and the argument name. int is the argument data type of both of our arguments. a and b are our argument names. A parameter list can contain multiple arguments of different data types. Each argument is separated by a comma. Before our function can return the sum, values for a and b must be provided. In order to provide values for the arguments, the function must be called. To call our function, we must first let the compiler know that we will be using a function and then provide the function prototype so that it knows what to look for. Here is the function prototype for our function calculate total. This function prototype tells the compiler that we should expect a function named calculate total that has two integer arguments and will return an integer value. Also, notice that the function prototype is a statement that ends with a semicolon and is placed before the main function.
The function definition should be placed after the closing curly bracket of the main function. Since our function contains two arguments, we must pass two values to the function. We have initialized two values in our main function to be passed to the calculate total function. Grade 1, which has a value of 88, and grade 2, which has a value of 78. Now we are ready to call our function. Since the calculate total function returns an integer value, we need a variable to store the results. We will use total to store the sum of the two values. We initialize total to zero so that our calculations will be correct. Note, without initializing the variables, the compiler stores an arbitrary value in that memory location. If we display total, this is what we would get. To store the value of calculate total into total, we need to first call the calculate total function and then assign the value to total. The function call syntax is as follows. The function name followed by the arguments in parentheses and then the semicolon. Total is assigned the return value of the calculate total function using grade 1 and grade 2 as its arguments. The values for grade 1 and grade 2 are passed to the function calculate total. The value of grade 1 is passed to the first argument. The value of grade 2 is passed to the second argument. The value of A and B are now 88 and 78 respectively. The argument values are then used in the function body to perform the calculations. The value of A is 88. The value of B is 78. So the value of sum is 166. The variable sum whose value is 166 is returned from the calculate total function and assigned to total. Therefore, total is assigned the value of sum.